Hi, this is Deborah Sable Thornbrew, and here I'm going to demonstrate how to log in and use SimNet for our CSIT 125 Word 2016 class. Here is the login page for SimNet. If you look at the top of the page in the URL uh, address bar, you'll see the address listed there. It's just miracosta.simnetonline.com, but it is a secured website, which is why there's an S at the end of HTTP. So make sure that that is the correct uh, HTTPS colon slash slash and the rest of it, and type it into a um, browser window. From this screen, you will enter your username and your password that you set up when you registered your SimNet license. Then just click sign in. Finish signing in. This is the screen that you'll see. It, this is the home page in SimNet for our Microsoft Word class. The first thing you should do is look in the upper left corner and make sure that this is the correct class that you're looking at. You might have some additional classes that you are taking that use SimNet so make sure that this is the one that you want to work in. If it is not the right one, then look over in the far upper right corner and you'll see a link that says select another class. When you click that link, a list will show up of your other classes and you can just choose the right one. At the top of this screen, you have a calendar icon, which really isn't going to be all that important because most of the time you're not going to use SimNet for doing projects. Instead, you're going to use SimNet mainly for reading your textbook, uh, that is if you prefer to read it in SimNet online rather than having a physical book in front of you. Uh, you will also use SimNet to do these online tutorials from time to time. They will be graded and I'll, I'm going to give you a, a whole other um, video just to show you how that works. The only other thing you're going to use SimNet for in my class is to take tests. So this is the calendar. If you want to click that, feel free, but it's probably not going to show you very much. This link here, the, it says Assignments. This will take you back to this home page that we're on now. This link is called the Library. When you click that link, it will show you a list of all the textbooks that you have access to read. Now my textbooks, of course, are a lot more a, a lot more than you. Uh, you're going to have fewer books than I will have here. But um, when you find the book that you want, you just click right on it. Each one of these is a link. And when you click on it, it'll open up that book for you. You can also click your grades link. Um, but again, you're not going to see too much here. Uh, you're, you'll be seeing grades on the tutorials that you do from time to time, but it's very minimal. And any grades that you do earn here in SimNet will be transferred into Canvas in the grading page there. That's really the main page where you should look for your grades. So I'm going to go ahead and click Assignments to get back to the home page. There are three groups I set up. This first group is called Optional Reading. When you click a group, it'll open up that page. Now, the name of the page is here, Optional Reading. And to get back to the home page, you can just click this little home link right here. So if I click the group, it'll take me back. These, each one of these orange bar squares is a different piece of the textbook that's here online. The appendices, appendices, front matter, which is just the cover and uh, who the author is. And here we have the glossary. And these three are really not required reading at all, totally optional. But this one over here on the far right, it says recommended optional reading. This is the very first chapter that you'll see when you open your textbook. It's not a chapter about Word software specifically. It's a chapter that walks you through how to use Windows 10, Office 2016 in general, and how to manage your files using Windows 10. So if you're not um, really, really familiar with Windows very much or if you'd like to learn some things, some new things about um, and tips and tricks about file management, please uh, read this chapter. It's recommended but not required. So from here I'm going to go back to the home link 
and I'm going to click this group which is the one you're going to use 99% of the time. So I'm going to click into this one. It's called Required Reading with Occasional Required Training Tutorials. Those are interactive exercises here in SimNet. So I'm going to go ahead and click that group and here at the top in this beige area it's an explanation of what you're going to find on this page and how to use it. This first chapter here is required reading. No tutorials are assigned in this chapter so all you have to do is just read the chapter. I do recommend that as you go through the chapter you try to do some of the uh, pause and practice exercises and how to do um, the uh, and do the how to's. So I'm going to go ahead and click to launch the book and this is how you open the textbook here in SimNet. From this page you if you want to open the entire book you would click this link here open SimBook and the whole book with the whole entire um, sorry not the whole book but the whole chapter one would open for you. If you don't want to uh, open the entire chapter you can scroll the page down and you can click any one of these links to open just one part of the chapter. So I'm going to go ahead and click Open SimBook. And this is the beginning of Chapter 1 for Word. Now as you go, you're going to scroll the page up and read each page carefully. And when you're ready to turn the page and go to the next one, you would click over here on the right hand side. There is a gray circle with a right pointing arrow. When you click that, it will move to the next page. If you want to go back a page, you would click on the left hand side, the left pointing gray circle. Now if you look at the top here of this page, it says SLO. You're going to see those from time to time. That just means student learning objective. That means uh, the individual pieces of the things you're going to be learning about. So as you go through these chapter pages online, you're going to find how-to's from time to time, something like this, how to create a new document. And all it does is give you a few steps. It's not really an exercise exactly, but you can use them to guide you to learn this new skill if this is a new skill for you. In addition to the how-to's, you also see these colorful buttons, show me, guide me, and let me try. These are the online tutorials you will be graded on but not all the time and not in every um, unit. You're not always going to have to do those. And I'm going to do a separate, uh, record a separate video for you to show you how to use those. So as I scroll through and uh, look at the page there are different how-to's that pop up from time to time and different um, interactive tutorials as well. And also, you're going to eventually come across something called a pause and practice exercise. There's usually, oh, I'd say maybe three of these in every chapter. And these are little mini projects to help you learn the skills and features in that particular chapter. So I do recommend that you do these. These, This is a really important core to how you're going to learn to use the new skills in Word. Now, you don't have to do them if you don't want to. You're not going to turn them in. You're not going to be graded on them. But I really recommend that you try to do as many of the pause and practice exercises as you can. So as you go through, it tells you exactly what to do. And it's good practice to do one as well before you start the main project for any given unit because the main project is going to be very similar to the pause and practice exercise, only it will be a little bit more involved. So when you're finished reading, you can just keep scrolling through until you get to the end of the chapter, but when you're finished, you can do a number of things. First of all, in the upper left corner up here, you've got some icons you can click. This one, it looks like a book. If you click that, it will take you out of this chapter and back to the beginning of the book. If you click this little icon with the horizontal lines, this opens up a panel where it's like a navigation panel and you can click on any one of these to take you to a different area of that chapter. This little thing with a little arrow in it uh, is a way to bookmark a page if you want to do that. 
And now I'd like to direct your attention over here in the upper right corner where you have a search icon if you want to search for something in particular. You also have a capital A. If you click that, it opens up this where you can zoom in and make your print bigger or zoom out in the minus sign and make it smaller. You can print. There's a printer icon. If your computer is hooked up to a printer, you can print a page and uh, or several pages. And if you click the X here, it will ask you, are you sure you want to exit this chapter? And you would say, yes, I want to exit. Click exit. And it will take you back to the beginning of the book where you can open the book again or just open one part of it. From here, you can click assignments to get back to your home page. Now the other group is called tests. There are three main tests in this class, not counting the midterm project or the final. So I'm going to go ahead and click into this group. And here right now you're not going to find anything. There is no test to be taken yet. That's later in the semester. And this is just an explanation here of what you'll find on this page. When the time comes to take a test, I will give you very explicit directions on how to do it and when to do it and what it's going to be like. On the left hand side of the SimNet page, no matter what page you're on, if I go back to the home link, this uh, list of menus that are all different colors, those are different ways you can navigate around SimNet. Some of these are not going to show you anything throughout the whole semester. For example, if I were to click, or if you were to click Lessons, it'll just say there's nothing there because I don't use that part of SimNet. Notice too that when I clicked on Lessons, everything else grayed out. But that doesn't mean you can't click on anything. You can go ahead and click on any of the gray menus and it'll come, it'll come colorful again. It will work for you. So, Again, this is your home page for SimNet, and uh, again, remember the URL at the beginning of this video of where you're going to log in on a web page. It's uh, actually it's up here: https miracosta.simnetonline.com by itself. That is the login page. There will also be a link in Blackboard you can click that will take you right to the login page for SimNet as well. If you ever have any questions about SimNet, please let me know, and um, if I can't help you, I will find somebody who can.